Guys, we are back again with more Naruto Shippuden, and this is just, oh god, I'm just loving where this is going, man. I mean, just everything about this is just so epic. This war arc has honestly been some of the my favorite stuff in Naruto, and people tell me that it's like not even getting, it's not even started yet almost, so I'm I'm so down. Just out of curiosity as well, like out of all the, uh, the, the tailed beasts, which one do you think looks the best? Let me know. As always, guys, you want to see the full length, uncut, early access versions of these videos when we are way ahead of YouTube. I do have a Patreon. The link to that is down down below but guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's get it that's understandable i mean let's not call him a fool though i mean i understand the sex the skepticism though yeah it's true I mean, that's such, it's such a cruel thing that he, he said to him. It was just basically like, you're my fucking servant, you know? Um, you can't just mad. Imagine someone telling you to obey them. Oh, my God. Such a good voice actor, man. This was almost probably one of the best things that could have ever happened to Kurama here, you know? Like, had this not have happened, like... Oh, don't, it hurts still. The thing is, though, is if that hadn't have all happened and he hadn't been ended up putting in Naruto... This cycle could have ended up happening, continuing for Kurama. Like this could have just been another, just, just, just endless, you know, just being used in, in this way. But then to have someone like Naruto who's just going to break the mold and seems to actually care. Come on, man. He's like, I'm in a fucking baby. I like the fact that they've made these beasts like conscious, you know, and not just these wild things. The long game. Oh man, I hate seeing moments when Naruto is bullied, man. That shit makes me sad, man. Oh man. Kids are so cruel, man. Oh man, a lifetime ago. Oh, that is when the king entered. Yeah, look at that face. Oh my god, still to this day, one of my favorite moments in all of Naruto, including Shippuden, man. That arc, masterful, man. Yeah, that's when he's got moments he can, you know. And it, it, it did happen. Oh, Jiraiya, man. <laughs> it is really interesting to see how Kuruma's thought process through this whole journey has been, you know. Oh, yeah, man. Damn. This was an epic moment. Oh, 
I can see why he would feel like that towards Naruto because it's all he's ever known. That face, though. Maybe don't make that face when Naruto's, like, on all fours bent over in front of you. Yeah. Oh. I actually love seeing these moments in history, but from a different perspective like we are now. Mm. <laughs> That's true. Man, that was a fucking wicked fight as well against Gara in the Shikaku form. The Gamma Bunta fight. It really was like a Megazord fight from like from fucking Power Rangers, you know? Some proper Tokusatsu shit, man. <sighs> that moment, man. Honestly, still to this day, one of the best anime fights I've ever watched. Straight up, top top five or top ten. Oh, that face. Man, seeing bits like this makes me want to go back and watch some of this stuff, man. Oh my god, that is a lifetime ago. That literally feels like a different world. I love seeing this. Seeing the thought process from, from like within. Yep. Yeah, he's probably licking his lips at that. Man, so many people shout on the Tenji Bridge, but bro, I fucking love this shit, man. Epic. Yo, that visual just looks so sick, man. There was so much external stuff that really benefited Kurama. Our power. So, what you want to do, son? Yeah, I mean, Kurama has a really good point here, you know. It's true. Yeah, I mean, like, he doesn't get through that Hinata fight. Uh, I mean, well, the, fa the fight after Hinata without the Ninetales, man. Such a moment. Oh, gives me chills. Give me your soul. Man, that soundtrack is just so fucking epic. Man, you know that Kuro was like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So close. Yo. I fucking love this moment. Um, pops. He's like, motherfucker! I wonder how many people have pets named Kurama or just like I've been like Naruto characters in general. See, the thing is, is like you could argue that this is a filler episode or like a flashback episode, but I don't know if it is. Because it is seeing it from a different perspective. Oh, 
That's a good answer. Yeeting the nine tails like that is wild. I, mean, I don't know if we need to see the whole shit again, but yeah, I do. I, I, I've, I've enjoyed this episode still. GG. Man, this was epic. <laughs> that is epic. Humble the nine tails a bit there, you know. Respect Naruto. Put someone on that name, you know. You got used and abused, lad. Unlucky. GG's take the L. Well, he's very uncomfortable, doesn't it? How could this happen to me? You can't just say even though he's just because he did it. So he's not just.